That technique is a combination of long tone melody and where the notes are interspersed with an ornament that we call flourishes. Here's a basic long tone melody without flourishes. That's a classic long tone style of playing Native American flute. If you want to add ornaments, a very straightforward way is to take those long notes and connect them with flourishes. Flourishes are sequences of notes in the scale of the flute up and down the scale. If you're just going to play a few notes, if you're going to go in one direction, most people call it a run. But if you're going to change directions and a little bit more complicated, it's called a flourish. Here's an example. This is a very simple technique you can use to dress up your melodies. Best way to start is to just play a scale from top to bottom, very slowly. I'm playing easily, I'm playing relaxed, and I'm playing with a very even tempo. Now, you're going to increase speed on that descending scale very, very slowly. You're going to practice this over a week or two weeks. You might try it one minute or two minutes a day. That's all it takes. And increase speed very, very gradually. I'm going to increase speed quickly here, but you're going to take a week or two to increase speed. You're going to go from very slow to approaching the speed that I was playing those flourishes earlier. The idea is to do it without pressure, without tension, and without even thinking. And now we're going to take it in two directions. You're going to go down and up. Again, I'm going to start slowly and increase speed over time. So we're going to look at two approaches for using flourishes. One is, of course, improvisation, which is the way most people play, and the other is we're actually going to look at some sheet music later. So the first thing I'm going to do is, in the improvisation side, I'm going to play a long tone melody and I'm going to hear the next note before I play it. That's what most players actually do. It's called audiation, when you as a player can hear the note where you're going and eventually you learn what fingers produce that note. So I'm going to just try to play a long tone melody, hear the next note where I'm going, and I'm going to try to add in flourishes between those notes.
Now we have another approach to Flourish's written sheet music. This is Blue Feathers Fall from the Sky by Christopher Allen Mink. Uh, he shared it with me a few weeks ago, and it's perfect for demonstrating uh, Flourish's unwritten sheet music. He was kind enough to uh, actually share it under a Creative Commons license, so I was able to put it out on Flutopedia, and I'm going to try to play it here. Just follow along with the highlighting on the sheet music. That's an example of written sheet music with specific runs and flourishes composed into the music. Of course, your style might be different. It might be improvisation where you're hearing the next long tone note you're going for and adding some ornaments, some runs, some flourishes in between those notes. This music is out on Flutopedia. Uh, go to flutopedia.com, go across the top bar to the playing item and find songs, and that will take you down to the songbook. You can then find Blue Feathers in the Flutopedia songbook. And while you're there, check out some of the 700 pages that are out on Flutopedia. Flutopedia has a lot of what we call the headspace side of Native American flute. When you're hungry for things like theory, things like history, things like new songs that you want to play off sheet music, go to Flutopedia. Look it up, browse around. When you want to do the heart space side, these videos are more experiential. And of course, that's what we do in our workshops. Straightforward, heart space, improvisational techniques to make your flute playing better and to jam with other instruments. Vera and I do about uh, six or seven multi-day workshops throughout the year. Uh, if you'd like to find out, you can go to nativeflutschool.com. And uh, up at the top, there's a link to our schedule. You can go to the workshops that we facilitate, as well as concerts and other events. And there's also a link at the top of nativeflutschool.com to this newsletter. Sign up for this newsletter, and the emailed newsletters are really paired with these videos. So we would love to have you join us at a workshop. We sing our souls, play with other instruments, and make a whole lot of music. That's a classic long stone. <clears throat> long stone. Long stone playing. <laughs> That's a... You'll see the fruit... You'll see the fruit music. Yeah, great. Oh my God, there's a bug on the camera. <laughs> He's crawling across the camera. Okay, go away. <sighs> it's an ant. Okay, I'm... Uh. <sighs> Get... Uh.